Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Oh shit, things kicking off. They're not having a good day. Hope you're having an amazing day today. <laughs> and welcome back to some more GTA 5, where today I'm going to do one more video on this, and then I'm going to call it quits, as I, I think you guys might get sick of me sort of like drawing it out every time we get one of these custom car things going. I want to do a couple more builds of the trophy truck custom car things, and then maybe we'll call it the end and be done with it, because I think you sort of get the idea after a while, but there's a type of car that I kept thinking I couldn't do. That was a, that was a textbook crash right there. There was a type of car that I thought wouldn't really work, but I found that actually some of them do work, and that is just standard cars. I've been making all these 4x4 lifted truck things. Actually, some of these cars are a decent enough size that you can make jacked up versions of them. So I'm going to try and find a couple, and hopefully we'll get a couple of successful builds in today's video. But before any of that, there's going to be some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget, I have a Twitter, at Figure8. Links for my Twitter are in the description below. You can follow me on Twitter and I talk about things like actually anything. Anything's going on in my life. Maybe it's me moaning because something's broken and then I can't do a video. And then you'll know not to expect a video. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. I, I, I can never sell my Twitter. I, I, I can never explain to people why you should follow me on Twitter. Just do it. That, is, that, is that a good... Mind you, that's Nike's slogan. I guess if Nike can have that slogan, so could, actually, I probably can't. There's probably some sort of legal thing that says I can't. But whatever. Just just follow me. There we go. There's there's my slogan. Just follow me. Right. Um, I, I think we need a clear space, and we need a car that's definitely not this damaged. I might actually try with this car. Let's go over to the airport. We've got a nice, big, wide area. And let's try and build a couple more trophy truck cars. Okay, so I've got this car, but actually I stole this off a guy, which means it's not in the old Spooner database. So we're going to have to start from scratch. But this is called the Vapid something or other. Hang on, just let me jump back in here a second. Ah, uh, it's the Vapid Stanier. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, it's the Vapid Stanier. Let me just go to Object Spooner right here. Object speed mode is a lot easier to actually build things. Right, let's get rid of that voice. And I'm going to spawn in off-road. I'm going to spawn in myself a trophy truck. And somewhere down here should be the Stanier. There we go. It might be a little too small. This one might not actually work, but I thought I'd give it a try. So let's just give this one a try first. Instead of like me laying out cars like I did previously, which was a massive failure because it was just a, a mess to work with, I'm just going to try to, you know, do one, then move on to the next. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the trophy truck, and I'm going to go to menus customs. I'm going to make sure to get rid of all the doors. I actually want to get rid of all the extras first. Let's get rid of all of those body panels. And let's go to doors and remove all. And that's going to give us a nice empty shell. I mean, it does have these wing bits, which I've got to be honest, have ruined quite a lot of these test designs that I've tried out because it just sticks out too much. But I think we can possibly respray them to match the cars so we can make them blend in somewhat, even if not perfectly. Oh well. Right, so let's just go to the uh, Stanier now. Go to attachment options, attach to trophy truck. This looks like it's going to be a good whip. It's the height that I am concerned about. Let's have a look here. Let's just maybe move that forward a wee smidge. And up we go. Ah, oh, look, it's just a little bit more. But maybe that's okay. Maybe this bit sticking out is not the end of the world, really? I don't know. Hang on. If we move this forward a bit more to actually... Yeah, see, that's the problem, is now the wheels don't line up with the arches, which is a concern. Obviously, we have to have this kind of lining up so it does look alright on the side. We do get this issue here, but I think we can actually live with it, because... Cars can have, like, exoshell, exoskeleton things. So it's not entirely unplausible that it could just have, like, an external thing where the windscreen is. I guess you just have to use a bit of your imagination for these. So let's go to customs, wheels. Now, I have been told a method on how to remove the tyres, but it is incredibly long-winded, and I don't want to go through with it. It's not as simple as it used to be as just making them invisible. That does not exist anymore. 
And the thing is, when you spawn them in again, it always ends up adding the wheels back again. So it's so much easier to just remove the tires, go to off-road, get ourselves some stock rock crawlers, and just paint them black like that. And now, they're not really in the way. You can't really see them all that much. It doesn't really matter. So let's just go back to attachment options. I just want to get this positioned just right. Maybe we can go up just a little bit more. It doesn't really matter if it's sitting higher than the frame underneath. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if it's that high. Oh my god, this actually looks like a donk almost. Oh my god, this might be a way to make donks. I hadn't considered that, but of course. This looks like a, a donk maker. So maybe I can move that just a bit forward. And actually, that's okay. That works. I mean, we've got this little bit on the front, but so long as I make the yellow bit not so sticky outy. Uh, you know, so visible and obvious, it probably won't matter. So let's just go to customs, and this is going to be for the Stanier. So let's just see what we can do to this thing. Uh, engine, we don't really need to worry about. Uh, oh, there isn't really anything. Right, let's just go for paints then. And I think maybe we go for a map. Oh my god, okay. Um, these are a lot. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go for that. Let's just try and make this into some really weird donk, actually. That's going to be the theme for this one, at least. So we're going to go for purple. And I think that's pretty much it with the colors. Just the windows, which we're going to tint to black so we can hide most of that framing there. Even if we can't hide the bit on the front. Oh, well. Uh, emblems. Oh, that's just that. Extras is... Oh, no. It's going to add the wheels back. Okay, let's just get rid of the wheels again. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll also make sure to stick on... The lights as it just looks cool right back the wheels popping all those tires there we go not so obvious again perfect right now onto the trophy truck which is where we're gonna go to customs now wheels I'm gonna leave that till last actually that's gonna be a fun bit we don't need to worry about the engine brake transmission because this is really just gonna be for show uh, suspension again is not gonna be worth much to us because we want it all jacked up so I'm gonna go for paints prime in fact we want secondary on all the uh, framing and I'm going to go for a classic black like that. Or maybe we'll go for a matte black just so it's sticking out even less than before. There you go. It's not so obvious now. That's not that bad. Okay, so what else do we have in this? Neons, doors, windows, emblems, uh, whatever. Okay, that's pretty much it. Actually, let's just try adding some of these things back and see what happens. Okay, that's not going to work because it's going to add the doors in again. But we could have little lights sticking out if we wanted. That is a bit odd, though. Okay, no, I don't think these are going to work all that much. No, especially not that. That's Why is that only on one side? Is that... Ah! Ah! See, that, that actually looks okay. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um. Well, I had anticipated it to look like that, but they've sort of lined up and it looks not that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and go to paints. This is, I've just completely stumbled at this one. And let's just go down to match the purple. Okay, that's, there's a little bit of a gap there. But other than that, that actually looks quite fitting. Oh, okay, okay, this can work. In fact, I'm just going to sort of shuffle around the stand here just a little bit more, just in case we can get it any better. Maybe this is the best we can do. There you go. See, it's not going to be moving that bit, so maybe... I mean, in an ideal world, I might want it back like that entire way. I ah, see, that's the thing. Now that I've moved it back... Oh, mind you, we've got that bit on the front. Okay. I was going to say, now that we've moved it back, it doesn't matter so much about the arch underneath, because this bit on top is sort of... It's fitting the image better. But that's not going to work because of that frame. So, yeah. That's, that's not going to work at all. That was probably better as it was to start with around there. That works. We'll keep it like that. Okay, well, that was going to be a donk, but it sort of turned out to be a pretty cool off-roader, I think. Maybe we can make this an off-roader donk. This is just going to be so ridiculous. Let's go to wheels. Let's go to high-end chrome. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. <laughs> These would look great. Let's just go ahead and just get rid of all those um, doors and stuff. I mean, it looks interesting like that, but I just want to see what it looks like as a donk. So let's just go ahead and go to extras and get rid of these first three and get rid of all the doors and stuff again. There we go. Remove. Well, there we go. Look, there it is. <laughs> it's a donk. <laughs> that 
actually works. That's amazing. Okay, I like this as a donk. Um, that was a good fitment of those things. And we could probably make another version of these with those. But I might see if there's another car that we can use those with as well. And we'll leave this one just as it is. Should we see if actually there's a better set of wheels for this? Uh, let's just start from the bottom. I mean, these are all carbon. We don't want any of those. All of these pretty much work. These are all very donkey. In fact, very donkey. Uh, Benny's bespoke. Oh, no. Actually, Benny's originals. What we want is one of these things down here. Something like... Oh, here we go. These are the donk wheels we need. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Right. We want the triple spokes or the big bar. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. The sun is shining right on them. And even with the yellow, that is actually very donkey because donkey it's such an odd word saying <laughs> to call something donkey then you know what i mean yeah this is you know donk cars always have these strange crazy paint works and color schemes and stuff like that it's a shame we don't have liveries so we can have it saying sprite on the side or sprunk or something like that but that is a pretty interesting first build so i'm just gonna go ahead go to the stanier turn off the collisions and now we should be able to jump out of spooner mode and take this thing for a spin. And here we are. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. This is so great. I don't know why I didn't think to use these smaller cars. I was really... I thought I would be clever and think, no, these will never work. Actually, these work better than those 4x4s because these are completely unexpected. A jacked up 4x4 is like, yeah, it's a jacked up 4x4. This is a donk vapid. I've made something entirely new. And it works. This is awesome. I love this. This is pretty cool. Let's just park this up over here then. And then we'll make a second one. Maybe we'll go for another donk. Maybe we'll go for something else. Let's see. Let's jump out. Okay, back in Spooner mode, I am doing so much better than the previous attempt video. Where I just had so much wrong. First car so far? Worked. Why did I have so many problems before? I don't know. Maybe I've just ruined it and now all these cars are going to fail. Let's see. Let's just go for off-road, trophy truck, and put that down. There we go. And now just go for the sedans and find something else. I mean, the Asaya? The Asaya might be too thin. I mean, we've got to admit that some of these aren't going to work because they are too thin. Yeah, I don't know. See, now look, the Chaser. The Chaser looks big enough. Oh, the Chaser! Wait, it's just occurred to me. This is the Toyota Chaser. This as in the one that we did a video on recently. Okay, right, I'm trying this. I'm trying this. This is going to be unprecedented on my channel. The first ever time that I'm using an actual real car that was put in with mods in this, in with, with the custom car thing. Although I have a concern that because we can't change these wheels, it will mean I can't change them from the... Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, well, if I had the non cambered version, this would probably work a lot better, but hopefully... We can get this looking somewhat like a jacked up version of a chaser. Let's give this a try. Right. This is going to be so fun. Let's just go to the chaser. I, when I read chaser, I was like, chaser, chaser. <gasps> well, no, wait, that chaser. Right, here we go. Custom um, attachment, actually, first, before we do any of that. Trophy truck. Oh, <gasps> it's lining up on the side. We might. I th actually, I think that wing will probably protrude, and we don't want it to... Oh dear. Right, let's see. Will we notice the... Oh my god, it actually hides it. It actually hides it. Oh wow. Okay, but... Oh, hang on. Hang on though. When I move it back to line up the... Wi oh, it still hides it. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. I mean, we do have this issue with that bar at the front. Now it's under the... Yeah. Okay, we wanted to move it back a bit. Okay, we're going to have a bit of bar. We can hide that. Just make it dark colored. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised so far. But I do know that the wheels are going to be a concern. So let's go to the customs, wheels. I'm going to remove tires. And let's see what happens. Yes, it doesn't remove the tires. It just tucks them up a bit more. Which is not really <laughs> ideal. Again, if I had the non cambered version, this would probably work really well, but I don't have that on hand right now. So this is this is a proof of concept. And for proof of concept, this is so far actually looking pretty freaking cool. Uh, what else do we want to do now? I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff. We could add all these crazy spoilers on. We can do all of that if we wanted. 
Uh, maybe we go for race bumpers. See, this would match, actually, because we got the bars already. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, right. Well, in that case, uh, with, with rear bumper, skirts, we don't really need to worry about any of that. Exhaust, we've already got... Well, that exhaust can't really be hidden along with that one, so I guess make it as ridiculous as possible. Change the chassis, roll cage. Uh, that's interesting. That's only... Didn't it give us two options to the roll cage last time? Oh, no, I th I th I'm thinking of the Sylvia, aren't I? Right, okay. Uh, we'll ignore that. Grill is actually going to be the wide... F oh, that's not the wide fenders. What is that? It's something else that had that. Hood will go for the crazy one. Why not? Roof spoiler. Uh, engine, we don't need to worry about any of that. Paint, neons, doors, extras. We didn't really need any of those. Didn't we have a wide arch thing on that? I, th I think most of these things I'm remembering are actually from the Sylvia, which I also have installed still. We're going to have to try this out. I just want to see, though, because I thought we had... No, no. Uh, okay, maybe not. I thought we had the wide arch, but I think that might have been Sylvia. Although I am noticing... Hang on, what is this? Wait. Wait. There was more? Okay, there was more to this chaser mod than I knew! What? There's loads of different seats that I could pick! How did I not notice this? Oh my god. Okay, apparently there were loads of extra seats. And, wait... Dash? Belt? Oh, we could have changed the belt! Oh, look at that! Oh, we completely missed that last time. What an idiot! What an idiot I am for not even checking that! Well, apparently there were two bits of the chaser uh, missed, but never mind, because I guess you're now watching this video, and you can now see them. Right there. Brilliant. So, that's <laughs> pretty much done. And uh, let's go back to the trophy truck and change all these colours, first of all. So we're going to go to secondary, and we can make this sort of like a metal brushed steel. That works. Brushed black steel works pretty fine as well. We're going to go for some of that. Maybe we could have made the colour to match that one. Maybe we can do that in just a second. But that, so far, looks pretty cool. And then we'll get the chaser painted in just a minute. But I need to change the colour of these wheels because they are looking a little bit yucky. I mean, maybe we could actually make this a donk as well. Although, actually, no, this is this is a bad idea. Stop wheels. I'm going to go for stop wheels and just make this an off-roader. But I'll make the wheel color. There we go. We'll do it a nice stone silver. Right, back to the trophy truck. Back to the paints. I want to go for primary color. I want to go for a nice, classic, interesting color. I mean, all these purples look lovely. Chasers look nice in all colors, to be fair. Look at all these. They just It just looks good in all of them. There's not a colour out there that does not look good on a chaser. And I think this proves it pretty well. Uh, should we go for... Let's go for this nice bright green. Don't know why. We're just in, I'm in a strange colour mood today. So I'm going to go for bright green on this one. This is actually looking like a complete mess. Now I'm starting to think about it. This, this spoiler. I'm just tagging shit on everywhere. It still looks odd because the wheels are there anyway. And then on the secondary, we'll go to metal... And uh, that's that's changing that a lot more than I had have hoped. I guess we're going to have to go back to Classic and try and find a matching colour. Which is not looking like any of them, apparently. It's, it's a completely different sheen and colour to everything else, but it's fine. Well, there we go. There's a Jack <laughs> Chaser. That I had not expected to do that, but there we go. That is the first time I've ever done a modified car uh, as a custom car. So there we go. We've done something new. Let's just go to collision and jump out of spooner mode and let's take this thing for a drive. And there we are. That is our four-wheel drive jacked up chaser. I mean, the wheels look odd. I keep pointing that out. If I didn't have the camber thing on, I probably could have made the wheels a lot more hidden. But there's our second car right there. I'm thinking now that I've done this one custom car, I want to try the Sylvia out in the exact same way. So let's go for it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go for off-road trophy truck once again. And then we're going to go and... I'm just going to type in the code so I can find this pretty easily. NS13. Oh boy. I think that's going to be way too small for this one. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe once we take all the stuff off, this might actually work. So let's just go for the trophy truck. Let's get a menus customs. Let's go to extras and remove everything and then remove the doors and stuff as well. And actually, whilst we're here, I'm going to go ahead and go to paints, secondary, classic, black. I'm just going to make this black from the start. 
And as well as that, I'm going to do the wheels black from the start. Just so everything is right there. There we go. So now it's a base. It's just the perfect base. Maybe I should save that as that is. And then I could just spawn that in in the future. I do, I do, actually, mind you, I'm not really doing any more of these custom things, am I? This is going to be the last ever. This is why I'm trying to fit in as many as possible. Unless you guys really want more, then I don't know. Maybe you guys could suggest, like, real car mods like I'm doing here. Maybe I'll do some proper jacked up ones. Maybe that'll work. Let's see. Hopefully, though, this Sylvia can have all of its wheels hidden. And hopefully it will be big enough to attach. So let's just go ahead and go back to the uh, Sylvia. Menus custom. No, we want to go to attachment options. Trophy truck. Oh, look, it's going to be too small, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, it's just a little bit too small. It's just a little bit too small. Oh, dear. Mind you, that's... It's okay. I mean, this bit... This bit's pissing me off. It's also a little bit short. <laughs> if I really wanted to... Yeah, if I wanted those wheel arches to match, it's going to look real strange. Looks great on the front, though. Um, It's just that bit and this bit right here that's just a little bit of a, little bit of a problem. But I'm going to ignore that for this one. I'm going to go for menus, customs, because uh, sometimes you guys go, well, you don't you don't have to be perfect. So I'm going to try and go ahead and not be perfect with this one. I'm going to make this matte black as well, just so it matches everything there. Although it does look kind of... This is super, super dark everything right now. Then I'm going to go for some tinted windows just so we can hide all of that stuff. There we go. And let's see if we can get the wheels to be... Let's see. Aha! Here we go. Now we just go for off-road stock. Rock wall. Ah, see, there we go. Look, I could have done that with the chaser and I could have had a much better build with that one. And then we just go to wheel color. I make it black. And now it doesn't really stick out apart from <sighs> that bit right there. It's just a little bit too small, this thing. So, I mean, I could try jacking it up like this. And at this point, it's just so much higher that actually <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. I mean, we still have this bloody bit right here, which is really bugging me. It's a huge shame that we have to have that there. I mean, if I hide that, mind you, it's, like, right there. Ah, see, look. If it was just a little bit wider, we wouldn't have that problem. Oh, well. I can have that jacked up all the way to there on this one and just have the most jacked-up-looking Sylvia S13 ever. It's actually looking pretty badass right now. Okay, let's just go to Menus Customs and just find, uh... See if we can find something that we can put on here. Different spoilers. Oh, God, that's out of the wheels back, hasn't it? Okay, we'll do those again at the end. Look at that. <laughs> it's going to be a bit too much. I don't want to tune this thing too much because it, it it will just look stupid. Oh, but we can take that off though, can we? Ah. See, look, now it's even blending in even more. Although maybe we actually wanted to hide some of this stuff because you can see right through there. And um, see the multitude of diffs and shit that we've got going on everywhere because this is jacked up so damn high. Uh, yeah, so we had the roll cage. We can't really see that anyway. This had the wide fenders. This one had the wide fenders. I mean, on this one, you're not going to notice much of a difference. But we'll do it anyway. And we'll just go for a vented hood. There we go. Uh, roof, spoiler. Nah, let's not worry about that. That's all of that pretty much done. I guess extras. There were extras for this as well. Did I check the extras out? I can't remember if I checked the extras out or not. Right. Um, right. We need to get rid of those walls again. There we go. Pop those off. There we go, and I guess that's that done. Let's just turn off the collisions and go to spooner mode. I'm going to do one more after this, one more proper GTA car because we just did two uh, proper custom cars. But look at that. Is this not the most ridiculous? I mean, I can actually see... Yeah, this is too high. <laughs> this is way too high. But it was all I could really do to sort of avoid all the other stuff. But look at this. This is absolutely incredible. If you just blur your eyes a bit, you can see that it looks pretty damn cool. There's a lot of things going wrong with this. But maybe you guys will like it. Okay, there's that done. I'm going to do one more. So these are the two customs in the middle here. Then I'm going to do one more GTA car to finish. So let's start off again. Off-road, this is going to be the same bit. I'm just going to try and skip all that once all that shell stuff's off. But let's pick a car first of all. 
Let's get a sedans. I'm going to pick something in the sedan range. I think these are going to be too long. The Emperor might be too small. I, th I think. Should we go for an Emperor? Should we try an Emperor? Oh, what about the Fugitive? Fugitive's pretty cool. The Ingot's pretty cool. Oh, maybe we can go for an Ingot, an Intruder. These ones are all interesting. Maybe I can get... Mind you, I think the Vagina's going to be a little bit too long for this one. Same as the hearse. Oh, I mean, a jacked up hearse would look amazing, though. Do you know what? The stand is pretty wide. That's why that one worked. We just need to look at the width of these. That's going to be too thin. The Oracle's probably going to be a good size. The Intruder might be a good size. The Glendale. Should we go for a Glendale? Let's do it. I'm going to go for a Glendale donk thing. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I've got to this point, and I've decided that I'm going to make the car red. So just in case that this bit sticks out, I'm going to make sure that it's all red to start off with. And I've made all the frame in matte black as well. Now, I'm not going to touch the wheels just now because I'm definitely going to make this a donk. And I think I'll leave that until afterwards to see how this all turns out. So I'm going to leave those wheels as they are. And let's just go ahead to the Glendale and please tell me this is going to work. Please, 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 please. Oh, it might just be a bit too thin. Oh, let's see. Let's just, let's just go on the Z-axis. Oh, it's just a little bit too... Oh, God, it's just a little bit too thin. But, but, and it's a big but. I can make this car red, and it might not matter that all of this stuff is here. This might be okay. I can also go back a wee bit, although we do have this frame coming through the front. Yeah, actually, that's going to look shitty, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to make the car red to hopefully hide this bit. Because it's sticking out, and I don't like it. So let's just go ahead and go to paints. Then we're going to go to primary. Classic. Just a good old classic red. Ah, oh, see, if you blow your eyes, you don't notice it as much. But I am a bit... I'm a bit saddened by that. It's just... It's, all we need is to just have an option to remove just this bit on both sides. And it can open up so many more cars to be built this way. It's such a huge shame. Right, let's just go to uh, the wheels first of all. I want to get rid of these wheels. So let's just go for uh, off-road wheels, stock wheels, rock callers. Then we're going to go for colors in black. And then we're going to take off all the tires. There we go. Hiding nice. Apart from that, is this pretty much done? I think it's pretty much done. I don't know what else you can really do. I guess we need to get the windows all tinted and stuff, first of all. Let's just tint all that. What else can we do on this? Uh, suspension, transmission, uh, roof. Roof rack. Oh, we've got all this, haven't we? Roof rack with luggage. Yeah, we'll go for some of that. We can make this like a weird... This is going to be the weirdest donk ever. On the hood, we can have uh, secondary color. I forgot about all the tuning parts for this car. Apparently, we have all of these. I'm just going to go for a nice secondary color hood, because why not? Just make it a little bit different. Uh, exhausts. We can have a nice little double. Or we can have the dual shotgun or the big bores. I mean, we can't really see it because of the big massive thing there. So I guess we'll keep it at that. Custom skirts. Not really going to be noticed. No, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. We'll keep those in. And then a custom bumper, which actually doesn't really stick out all that much so we'll just leave it on the stock spoiler which is going to be ah secondary color trunk we we'll go for some of that we can make it a sort of weird i don't know it's sort of ratty looking maybe i actually i don't want to go red now i want to make this something else but what though let's give this a try in the paint section primary matte we've done a lot of matte we've done lots of matte in this video so maybe not matte ah see look at this beechwood brown Oh, that's so much like uh, Mr. Bean's car, isn't it, that? That sort of colour, it's a very similar colour. I think he had more of a greeny colour. I don't know if we can really find a good green that's going to match this. Uh, no, these are all too nice. They're all way too nice. No, we want to go for these browns that are sort of have the green tones in them. Like moss or uh, sandy straw beech wood. They're all looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll go for moss brown with these uh, grey sort of roof, bonnet, and boot things because I just think it looks kind of like Mr. Beanie style. I quite like that. And then we'll just do the same colour on that little bit here. Let's go to the trophy truck. 
Go to customs, go to paint, primary, classic. And what was it again? It was, um, oh, what was it? Moss brown? There we go, moss brown, which is actually sort of technically green. What would happen if I was to make this black? Would that, no, that's going to be way too sticky out. Okay, that's not a good idea. Let's just go back for moss brown. And there we go. Look at this. <laughs> this is actually pretty, it's not that bad. Apart from that. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, we've got extras, which is... Oh, no, that's that. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute here. Hang on a minute. Okay, this is interesting. I want to go for that extra. Uh, what's that going to be? That's the... Oh, it's just a little bit too thin. It's a little bit too thin. It's a lot too short. Oh, if it was a little bit longer, that could work. But no, we're going to have to get rid of those. And get rid of the doors, I think, because that's just that's just too much. If we get rid of the doors, what else do we do? We get rid of here. That's that. Oh, that all counts as the hood. That's everything. Okay, right. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, that's a pretty interesting car, and I'm still gonna make this a donk. So I'm gonna go for wheels. I'm gonna go for Benny's originals, front and rear, and I'm gonna go for some uh, triple spokes. Oh God, it looks awful. This is ridiculous. I've made the most ridiculous selection of cars in this video. Oh boy. I am expecting a lot of upset people. Well, there we go. I'm actually going to leave that yellow as well. Sun is going to go ahead and go to the Glendale. I'm going to get rid of collisions as always. Turn off spooner mode. And this is our fourth car. The most ridiculous looking Glendale donk. That sounds amazing. And there we are, look at that. I love the yellow headlights that you get on the Glendale as well. This looks brilliant. Let's just go and park this all up right next to all the other cars so we can have a nice comparison of all of them together. I'm actually getting a lot of lag from this. I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe it's just all these cars are just really affecting the game. But here we are. First person mode, we have the Glendale donk right here. Looking absolutely beautiful. Apart from that bit, but we're going to ignore that bit. Then this one, which looks beautiful. Apart from that bit, naturally, it's way too high. Maybe there's a lot of errors with this one. This one's odd. This one's definitely an odd-looking one. Then we have the Chaser, which, apart from these wheels, doesn't look too bad. That's not too bad at all. And then we have this, which, out of all of them, this is probably the most perfect. But there's some really interesting builds in here. I would love for you guys to let me know. I've got some really bad lag coming on. I hope this isn't affecting the... The video recording or anything, or otherwise I'm going to cry after building all these and that not working. Hopefully it's all good. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, which one is your favourite? Do you like the Stanier, the Chaser, the Sylvia, or the Glendale? These are all absolutely ridiculous cars, ridiculous builds. I mean, I did say this was going to be the last one. If you guys really want to see me do some, like, real cars... Maybe I'll do a separate video on those, but other than that, I think this might be the last one. Although I think there's actually one pack that uses this similar idea that I might check out, but I'm not entirely sure. But there we go, guys. Let me know in the comment section below which one of those you like. Maybe all of them, maybe some of them, maybe none of them. Maybe you would have done something a little bit differently. Maybe you'd have changed the colors, different wheels. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to read all of your ideas. But there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try and figure out what the hell this lag is. Uh, maybe it won't actually relate to the video. You guys are probably thinking, lag? There's, there's lag here, trust me. And there we go. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye! <laughs>